If you remember how last week we were looking at the myths and truths about feminism, but they promised on us that this week we're gonna bring it closer to home and look at the development of feminism in the Caribbean context. I'm Carla from Mortat JA and welcome back to We Change's Feminist Literacy Series. You are somebody you know eat fried chicken this week? Well then chances are you've benefited from Caribbean feminism. You can trace the roots of Caribbean feminism to the plantation and beyond. Because as long as people have been trying to tell Caribbean women what to do, Caribbean women have been like, ah nah, men are really plan for do it. And as a matter of fact, men not do them something they need. Her. Before Caribbean women actively started using the word feminist, a lot of organizations formed to allow women to meet up, share, and plan how to implement programs. In the 1940s and 60s, social welfare groups at the Caribbean Women's League tried to improve women's lives by preparing them to be better mothers, homemakers, and wives. So like, why do I prepare the woman for take care of man? Huh? That not feminist. Actually, it is. Feminism is about helping women lead better lives, period. It's also about meeting women where they are. But you probably think about like the political group them. Plenty of them did it too. Like the Women's Liberal Club in Jamaica. They were definitely about women's rights, representation, and preparing women to vote and take part in the political process. Throughout the 70s, a number of women and development groups, such as the National Council for Women, popped up to address issues like abortion, but we still can't settle yet, rape, which still they are road, and high levels of unemployment among rural and urban women. I guess I will come back to the fried chicken. You did know that raising fowl is a quick and easy way for make money? Yeah. And then the woman them can raise the fowl and stay in the yard and take care of them responsibility at the same time. Same thing like if they make things like basket and daily. So this is a good way to get rural and urban women into the economy. And in case like you're really young or you not come from country, the daily are the piece of frilly frilly cloth where your granny put on the dresser before she put on her figurine. So you see by the 1980s and 90s now, you start to have some organization with straight up feminists like Caribbean Dawn, Development Alternatives with Women for a New Era, and the Caribbean Association for Feminist Research and Action, that still exists today. The Women and Development Unit was formed at the UA. Big up to my colleagues then, yeah. And CARICOM established them women's desk. So you might have think, say, I know the feminist thing I go on, but it's a go on a long time. And as with everything else, if I egg, the Caribbean booty them in on the red. So make sure say you come back next week because we're going to talk about intersectional feminism and how it guides the work that we change does.